So why should you consider payrolling benefits in kind? Well, if you provide staff with benefits in kind, such as company cars, medical insurance, etc., you must report these annually to HMRC using forms P11D and P11DB. There's another way to report benefits in kind. This is taxing them monthly through payroll instead. It's called payroll and benefits in kind. So here are the main advantages of choosing to payroll your benefits in kind. First of all, employees are taxed up to date rather than retrospectively. Currently, employees pay tax on their benefits after they receive their P11D form at the end of the year. So this means that they could be paying tax on benefits they received over a year ago. For example, say an employee was given a company car on the 6th of April 2022 and they had the car for the whole tax year all the way through to the 5th of April 2023. At the end of the tax year, their employer would complete their P11D form and pass it on to the employee. This would need to happen by the 6th of July 2023. The employee would need the P11D form when filling in their 2022 and 2023 personal tax return, which is due to be paid and filed by the 31st of January 2023, 24 even. This is when they would pay the income tax on the benefit. So that's a whole 21 months after they first started using the company car. If I was an employee, I would think I'd rather pay the tax in increments throughout the year rather than getting a lump sum to pay at the end of the year. Now, it is important to make sure that your employees are aware they need to pay tax on benefits in kind. It might seem like a no-brainer, but some people aren't aware and we'd hate for them to be hit with an unexpected tax bill. So if you choose to payroll benefits in kind instead, there would be a line on their payslip called company car or whatever the benefit would be. And they would pay the tax in increments throughout the year on their payslip. They wouldn't need to pay anything directly to HMRC. Everything would go through the employer like their normal tax and national insurance. Secondly, it reduces the end of year admin burden. You would normally need to complete a P11D form for each employee with a benefit in kind. Make sure they have a copy for their own records as well. Then you would need to complete a P11DB for the company as a whole, confirming the total national insurance that the company needs to pay to the HMRC. The more employees you have, the more forms you'll need to do at the end of the year. So you can should consider payroll in these benefits instead. If you do opt to payroll your benefits in kind, you only need to complete one P11D to deal with the national insurance side. The employees would already have paid the tax on their benefits throughout the year. Thirdly, it makes the starter and leaver process easier. So if an employee leaves in the middle of the tax year, you're still not going to complete the P11D until after the 5th of April. It may be the case that you're contacting an employee who's left a month ago just to pass on a copy of their P11D. If you choose to pay rather benefits in kind instead, the employee who's leaving would not have access to the benefits anymore. We would have taxed it through the payroll on a monthly basis and the lever shouldn't need to pay additional tax on the benefit at the end of the year. You now might be thinking, I want to start payroll in benefits in kind. How do I get started? Well, you will need to register with HMRC for payroll in benefits in kind. And this will need to be done by the 31st of March 2024. However, I promise it only takes a couple of minutes and in this written version of the blog, we copy in a recorded video of our own CEO Cheryl registering for PPF.
You also need your government gateway details to log on and the link to the HMRC is included as well. If you don't have PAYE set up on your gateway, we also include a link of how you can set up this too. Now we hope this helps simplify the end of year payroll reporting for you. But if you do have any questions, always remember, if you'd like to discuss further, we'd be more than happy to help.